Hello everyone, welcome to game 2 between Imba Strelok and Fnatic Night End. It's gonna be on Zalnaga Caverns. Very nice. We're all quiet because nothing's happening yet. You can scream later. Strelok is gonna be in the top right for Team Imba FXO, of course, from Ukraine himself and Night End from Romania. Uh, you know, pretty good from Team Fnatic as a M MSI. Recently got picked up. This is the quarterfinal of the playoffs. Uh, the final four, the final six actually, of this tournament. Uh, in the semifinals, we have Braddock and Naniwa waiting. The winner of this is going to face Naniwa. Braddock is going to play Zoke, that got determined earlier. If you're just tuning in, we had Zoke defeating. Uh, how's he called? Zoke defeating Cass 2-1 to one, quite in a quite close uh, series. So he's going to go up against Braddock and yeah, the winner of this is going to face Naniwa. I think Night End, even if he wins this, not going to be too happy about that because Naniwa... He's Naniwa, you know? He's pretty good. So... Quite, quite go soon. All around we see Barracks and Gateway going up. No... Shenanigans yet? No gas for Strelok? Is he gonna take it? Is he gonna take it now? Uh, now or never. Good Strelok. Nope. So we might see a one gas, uh, zero gas expand rather, from Strelok. No, there it is. Just a bit delayed. Okay. I I won't overreact to this. Just uh, just chilling. Alright, we see Night End scouting. You will see that gas. Very nice. And yeah, this is of course Zalnaga Caverns. This is the first uh, two-player map we see in this. Uh, gonna be quite interesting. I I think Strelok is really more comfortable in shorter rush distances because he's he's a uh, he really likes these counter drops, right? <laughs> oh, what's that? I like that. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? He sees the tech left, no problem, and he will probably cancel the pylon. Yeah, but he made sure he saw what's going on in the barracks. That's actually great play. That's like actually a ridiculously good play. Very nice. Uh, stream is fine. That's great. That's great. Hope, uh, it's all good for all of you. And we see a Reaper expand from Strelok. Commands are going down right now. And Night End is going to. Yeah, let's see what he does. Last opener for Night End was a bit awkward. He's on two gas right now. I think he might do like a gate, robo gate, expand. Very standard. Or if he feels a bit greedy, he might do like gate, robo expand, or just gateway expand. Either way, he's on two gases right now, so I do think we're gonna see some tech out of him. At least some uh, early sentries. SCV scanning around. Is the stalker actually gonna get the SCV? Oh, yep. GG SCV. See you. In hell. That's very BM. I hope nobody got offended by that, but uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool juke around, but look at that. Uh, one stalker in the main. He's gonna be safe against this Reaper, and that's not gonna do much. Decided not to go here because he anticipated the stalker to come this way. Very good play. And uh, yeah, three gets gone up for Night End. Probe moving out. Reaper, of course, does not see that is on the left watchtower while the probe is moving to the right and there's the pylon three gate aggression the bunker is going up though did Strelok see the three gate? no he did not but he might have an idea or he's just playing it safe yeah I mean he's expanding that bunker is usually a good idea even with one bunker the three gate I have seen people die to a three gate like that so yeah, the first few guys are gonna move out, and there goes the uh, still alive, still alive. Let's see if he can pop back into the main now and snipe some stuff. Does see the three gateways now due to the scan, clutch scan there, and there's the second bunker right away. So like knows what he's doing.
And Knight, and looks like he is going for the aggression now. One Stalker joining in. Can he, is he going to plant a pylon even at the front? Nope, that probe gets taken out. But it does uh, realize that there's a bunker up there. It actually doesn't know. Yeah, it kind of knows. Uh, and I don't feel that this is going to be working well for Knight. And let us see. One Zealot cannot engage. This is bad. Uh, yeah, this is not going to work like that. You need perfect positioning to pull this off. Guardian Shield and Force Field kind of wasted, and we will see that expand now. But the Reaper is there. That's going to be actually great. That's going to delay that so much. Like, seriously. Uh, he's going to warp in a Stalker, move that down there, and then go and expand. And that's just such a huge delay. Any second counts, folks? If there are any stream problems, they uh, unfortunately cannot do anything about it. Uh, if the stream itself works, then it's a Justin TV issue, so please apologize. Uh, I apologize for that, of course, but cannot do much. Strelik now with the two bunkers, very safe, gonna scout out, uh, check for the pylon, and you will see that indeed Knighton did move back. This Reaper is still alive, still will have a chance to pop in later, but Knighton knows he has that one stalker. Not going to do much. Um, that Reaper, indeed. And a huge army for Strelok. A bunch of Marines. He really likes those Marines. I have Strelok more... Like, he's pretty extreme. Like, he never does, like, Marine Marauder. He kind of only does Marine or Marauder. And that's that's really great, I think. Uh, Knight, and with not that much of an army, uh, for a supply lead, which, of course, isn't a big deal. And here's the Colossus... Phoenix play again. Can Knight and defend here? I'm pretty certain he can. Good force field. Guardian shield. A uh, bit too late. All good. Not guarding the zealots though, and that was a mistake. He should have microed it so that it d does uh, guard the zealots. But with these uh, stalkers arriving, not a big deal. Gonna take that out quite convincingly. And uh, let's have a look at units lost real quick. Looks like it's very even. But of course, uh, yeah, with that medvac, it kind of gets skewed in one. Uh, direction. I don't know if the bunkers still bug this thing out, but let's say it's even. Good trade uh, for Strelok. Like he got some sentries. Oh, is he gonna lose the medvac? Nah. Doesn't look like it. That pylon is actually still up. Hasn't scouted that yet. Very interesting. And, uh, yeah, looks like Strelok is. We'll go with the Marines, that Observer gets taken out. Ah, uh, poor Observer. Bunch of Marines queued. More racks coming up, and yeah. This is actually really great what Strelok is doing now. Phoenix, Colossus, what I mentioned earlier, and the heavy Marine composition is gonna suffer from that quite a lot. Mm. He needs to get out the Phoenix though at some point. Uh, but at this point he's more determined to defend this initial attack here. First Colossus is out, we will see. Still like switch to Viking production right away, and as soon as his armory finishes, probably a plus one on these Vikings. Plus one attack that is. Medvac quite low, gotta get taken out. Huge win for Knight and already and these boys are not gonna stand a chance. We'll take out quite a actually. Taking out quite a few of those guys, but not pushing the I issue they know they cannot do much. These four marines, what are they doing? Do they decide to move in? Or, uh, or what? I don't think so. And finally, Phoenix production has started. And I'm pretty certain that Strelok knows what's up. And he immediately switches into Marauder. And Viking. And are we going to see a plus one on ship weapons? I do not know, but I wouldn't be surprised. A huge army actually out for Strelok. Uh, it just looks like that on the minimap, but it's just a lot of marines. Not that much of a huge army for Knight End. Uh, Knight End is decently ahead in probes, definitely making the difference here. But his army is going to be so fragile, and that's like the huge downfall of, of this comp. Like, Phoenix Colossus is... Ugh, oh, incredibly squishy, like, if it's it's largely based, based on that balance between the, the, the Colossus and Phoenix and Gateway unit counts, 
if any of that goes wrong, it's like just falls over, um, as if it was in balance. Just kidding. We see that drop coming, and I think these phoenixes are quite ready for it. Oh I, no! They just oh, what are? It looks like the phoenixes are needed to help down here. Not picking up anything, but yeah, that's how Phoenix Colossus works, folks. Picking up the Vikings, they can't do anything against the Colossi. But look at Knight, uh, Strelok, he's in the main of Knight, and how many probes did he take out? 12 already, so that's a good win for him, but he lost his whole army. He did not do any damage to the tech units of Knight, and so... Harvester count even now, and Knight, end, I think, has a decent window to uh, put the pressure on where are the phoenixes? They're moving away. They are needed against the Vikings. This is like, uh, yeah, he wants that dropship. And guys, after this game, I might just re restart the stream, so maybe we get the other stuff working. Hope that's good for you. Um, Night and just harassing a bit. <laughs> Shell bringing a ton of SCVs just to transfer, but I mean. Yeah, Knight and looking good. This is this is how he wants uh, this to work for him. He's very comfortable here. He did take down the Phoenix count, the Viking count already, with his Phoenixes. He's now gonna go attack five Colossi, proxy pylon. Um, and, but this is the thing: not enough zealots in this, so the ground army is just too strong. That's one one weakness right now that um, was in in Knight and's army. So he's actually gonna get repelled quite easily. He needs zealots in the mix. But, oh, Pylon gets taken out. The zealots do uh, vanish. And one Colossus at least is going to go down for free. Yeah. And now, I said before, Night End in a good spot, but now actually Night End's in trouble. Yeah, Night End actually <laughs> might just lose. Uh, if this composition falls over, it's GG. And it is. Shellac takes game two in a kind of an awkward